Well, we have eight games to predict this week in the NRL round 21. So let's get looking at who we think are going to win their games. But as always, we look at the previous round first to see how we did last week. And yeah, it didn't start too well. I predicted a Warriors win against the Raiders and they lost by two. Ah, Raiders who have not been on good form at all. They obviously desperately needed that win. Um, just to give them a shout at the playoff finals. Gutting for Warriors, to be honest, because Warriors, Warriors could have perfectly well won that. So no points for me in the first game. Then Rabbitohs versus West Tigers. As predicted, Rabbitohs, after last week's loss, they come out against West Tigers and get the victory. I did them to win by 16. They actually won by 14. So a decent, strong win, keeping West Tigers rock bottom and it pushes Rabbitohs up now to 14th so still nowhere near the top uh but you never know in this game you never know one and a half points for me there then it was Knights versus Broncos I predicted a Broncos win Broncos they need to show what they were able to do last year and reach the final and there was glimpses of it in this game. There really was. They had some really, really good attacking uh, prowess in this game. Probably a bit disappointing they, they gave two tries away, but still a fairly competent win. And I did Broncos by eight. They doubled it and they won by 16. So one point for the victory. Then, well... Um, I, I went a bit of a curveball. And actually, it's not as crazy because I know 30... A third of everyone went for Roosters. I did Roosters to win. I thought maybe this is an opportunity for Roosters to win with um, State of Origin going on. Alas, no. Um, Roosters I did by four. Storm beat them by 16. It, it, yeah, it, it was probably the sensible pick and I went against it. Uh, so nothing for me in that game. Well done to Storm though, staying top by four points. But on their heels is the Panthers. Uh, Panthers, they won by two points. So very, very tight. And, and actually, I know I did Panthers to win by 16, but I did say Dolphins do have the ability here. Um, and a very, very tight, exciting game to watch. But Panthers came out on top just about. But it doesn't matter how, how much you win by, as long as you win. One point for me for that game and nothing for a close score. But take it, take it all day long. Then Sea Eagles versus Titans as predicted. Sea Eagles won, but emphatically. Uh, Titans 8, Sea Eagles 38. So they won by 30. A really, really good win for them. And that is pushing them up. When Sea Eagles had a real slump, they're now finding their form, pushing for the playoffs. And in fifth place now with 21 points. Very, very good. Um, and they, yeah, they, they, can, they can push up a little bit further here. Um, surprising because I thought they were going to plummet a little bit more and they've found form. So that's, that's good for them. Next and the final game for last week was Cowboys versus Bulldogs. I thought it would be close. That's I thought it would be close and I was spot on in that sense. I did Cowboys to win by six. They won by two. So a very, very tight game that could have gone either way for sure. But I get one and a half points for the result and a close score. The leaderboard then is as follows after round 20. Cool Adelaide Bulldog and Brupel are still in the top three. Now, uh, it does look like Cool is pushing away slightly. Now, just under five points clear. There are still plenty of weeks left, so time to still play. Uh, Hacksaw up two, a Juby down one, up seven. And the golden hat in sixth place is Kazaraza. Well done. Uh, that is fantastic for you. That is keeping you in with a shout. You know, you get those, you know, get exact scores and things, and you get the points and push up really well. Aussie Tash, unlucky, unlucky. We have a bit of banter in the comments. Uh, Aussie Tash is down three. I expect she'll be out of the top 10 soon as well. <laughs> um, Hazy and Johan Mustang up. Six each, up to 10th and 11th. Uh, down five is G Chapman. Down nine is K Power. Where am I? I am up one place. Uh, it wasn't the best. It wasn't an amazing week. It was okay. So I'm up one place. Stormy May down 
three. Uh, up three is Dave in ours. Steve and Jay will down three. The wooden spoon, though, goes to Mighty Muffins Rule. Unlucky, buddy. Let's see where everyone else has finished. A little bit of movement down here. And there we go for this week. So on Friday the 26th, we start in Auckland at the Go Media Stadium. Warriors versus West Tigers. Now, Warriors, yeah, they are struggling now, aren't they? They seem to run out of puff. They're against a West Tigers team who are rock bottom. The real thing here is they are in Auckland. Um, Warriors have the home game. They should win this. Even... You know, even if the Warriors are not doing as well as they are, they should beat West Tigers. Um, it's just a shame because Warriors are not playing well enough. Uh, and obviously, clearly, Tigers aren't either. But I think you've got to go... Yeah, I just think performance-wise, Warriors could have won last week and they didn't. They're at home. Um, so I'm going to go with a Warriors win. I'm going to go with a Warriors win by 12. You never know. Tigers could win, but I don't think they will. Next up, then, is Combank Stadium, Parramatta. Eels versus Storm. And there is only, surely, only one winner here. Because Eels is currently in 16th. They are on, they're on a worse form than West Tigers. That's how bad they're doing. A Storm, I probably shouldn't have doubted them last week. Because I went against them and they managed to win. This should be a confident win by Storm. Um, it was it was a considering who Storm played last week uh, in the Roosters, they had a just a fantastic victory, and I think that's only going to put them in good stead. You know, like I said, they're we're slowly getting to the finals now. It's like it's never never ending in NRL at the moment, um, but they're slowly getting there. They're going to want to be on fantastic form, and they've just shown they can beat that team who were one place below them. So they shouldn't have any problems beating the Eels. So let's go Storm. It's difficult to go more, but I think let's do Storm by 18. They could win by more, but it's very difficult, I think, in, in NRL and Rugby League to, to sort of go more than that. Uh, so let's, yeah, Storm by 18. Then on Saturday at Suncorp, Broncos versus Bulldogs and I was talking about obviously Broncos trying to hit the form they had last year and this is the time to do it it's crazy to think though that if you look at the Bulldogs form you look at Broncos form there is one clear favorite I know there are home but Broncos are the clear favorite um but this is the time Broncos need to win to make those playoffs they really really do uh and they can beat the Bulldogs um, yeah, on paper, th but this is the thing, on paper, Broncos should win, but how often does that work out, do you know what I mean, it's all on the day, and, but you've, uh, you've got to go with Broncos here, they need it, they need it, needs, needs must, basically, so let's go with a Broncos win by 10, yeah, next up, Queensland Country Bank Stadium, it is Cowboys versus Sharks. Sharks, they did get a decent win last week, so fair play to them there. Um, Cowboys on brilliant form. They're at home. This is not an easy one to call. You know, I think looking at form is is a bit misleading sometimes, especially if you look at the previous, previous game, the Broncos game we've just picked. Um, I would like to think Cowboys will win at home, though. Um... Yeah, it's similar. It's very similar to Broncos. And actually, Cow uh, Cowboys form is much better. But Bro this is the point now where you're going to see a lot of teams, they either push or they slip um, because it's that necessity to win, puts the pressure on. Can Cowboys cope with that? Um, I just think, I think the way Sharks have gone from top of the table to basically almost bottling it, Cowboys are going to win this. I hope. It, it, it may go the other way, but I'm going to go Cowboys by eight. Fairly tight, but hopefully being at home, they should have enough. Next game, Allianz Stadium it is Roosters versus Seagulls. Now, as you can see, the Seagulls have now found their form and they are pushing up. Um, but Roosters, I know they lost last week. Um, I think, I think 
the loss against Storm last week isn't going to affect Roosters in a negative way. I think it will give them a bounce back against a, a Seagulls side who is is actually starting to perform as well as a team. Um, I think it will be close. I think it'll be very, very close. But I think it's going to be a Roosters win um, at the Alliance as well. So let's go Roosters win by four. A, a tight one. I don't see it being a big, big score difference there. Then a win stadium on Sunday in Wollongong. Dragons versus Panthers. This has got to be another Panthers win. Surely um, it should be a fairly confident win. Uh, Dragons form isn't too bad, um, but who have they played? That's that's the most, most important thing, which, like I said, that's partly why sometimes the form is a little bit misleading. Um, I, they're not, you know, look, Panthers not top of the table, but... They are, they are certainly playing with trying to get four in a row, right? Four, four NRL titles in a row. And so I don't think Dragons are going to stop them. They're away from home, but that shouldn't matter because Panthers are class, right? Nathan Cleary behind me, he says they're class, all right? If you can't see him at the moment, you'll see him at the end. So a Panthers win by 16. Yeah, Panthers by 16. Then... Suncorp, uh, it is Dolphins versus Titans. Uh, Dolphins form is not great. Titans, it's 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 hit or miss, but you know they are still struggling right at the bottom. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I fancied last week. I fancied Titans to at least keep it close last week against uh, against Manly, but they weren't able to do it. And so you just don't know which Titan side is turning up because Titans have had that habit of doing well against good teams. Last week, it didn't happen. Um, Dolphins should have the quality edge here to win. So I'm going to go with a Dolphins win by eight. Uh, once again, you just don't know which Titan side's turning up. So they are a little bit frustrating. I would not want to be one of their supporters at the moment because it's just so frustrating. You you think, oh, they're going to have a decent game. Yes, no, you just don't know. But the last game of the week is at the GIO Stadium in Canberra, Raiders versus Rabbitohs. And um, yeah. Raiders come off a good win last week. They did. Um, both teams here... I know Rabbitohs are a little bit further away, um, but both teams sort of still have a shot with reaching the finals. Um, I don't necessarily think Raiders will make it, and I think this game for Rabbitohs is crucial. Um, it really is crucial for them to win this um, if they want to try and make the pl playoff finals. Uh, and even then, I don't think they'd win, but it's all about make making the finals. You can't win if you don't make the finals. Um... I just think, I don't think Raiders team looks interested enough. And I think Rabbitohs have just, they've had a little bit of excitement recently. So I'm going to go Rabbitohs win by 12. Difficult one to call, but Rabbitohs by 12. So the picks are as follows. Warriors by 12. Storm by 18. Broncos by 10. Cowboys by 8. Roosters by 4. Panthers by 16. Dolphins by 8 and Rabbitohs by 12. There are some difficult picks this week, um, but it's getting exciting. You know, it is, I really do think it's those teams. Are they going to rise to, you know, rise to the top or are they going to slump when they really need to get the results? And that it will be the case, I think. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Please, once again, it's free. Like the video and subscribe and I will see you next week.